Hello everyone, it's, it's 8.34 a.m. Um, like and subscribe and comment, sorry. I need it. And yeah, uh, if you're, if you're wondering about this, this was for uh, PC VR. I have a VR headset if you didn't, if you didn't notice. <laughs> so today, we're just going to get right into it. We got a beam. I'll show you, how, I'll show you guys how this is made because it's uh, very cool, right? Um, now this is the this is the um, beam I made for Catalyst SMP, except I've modified it a bit because um, the uh, because Sam told me to change it a bit. So you can see it's like it's the wavy thing and the skull particles complementing it on the top. So yeah, I changed it because he didn't want that. But besides that, it's pretty much the same same exact code. So first of all, create our function. That's all. So, uh, spawn, I don't know, it's called beam from now, it's called beam, I don't know, I don't care about the name. So we're going to have the distance, now this is self-explanatory, we have the spacing, spacing between each time, like, we spawn the particles, right, it's going to be one block. Radius, now this is for, you know, the circles, the, you know, these circles that spin around, yeah, the, that's the radius for it. Now, circumference and whatnot, um, this is for the complex circles thing that I showed in my last videos, in the last video, um, part two. So, yeah, uh, rotation, there we go. Play the sound, you don't really have to do this, but yeah. And then we're gonna loop, um, distance divided by spacing, right? Right, make sure that works. Location to... Um, this is for, a, uh, a vector, I guess. Is this ever used? No, this is, we can, we can, we don't have to worry about this, I guess. Or about this, yeah. This is not used at all. I don't know why this is in the code. Because, because I've modified it a lot, I guess there's some, like, remaining stuff I have to remove, but whatever. You can see, we're gonna spawn the um, middle part. So, we're gonna go slowly, right? Man, let's see. Spawn beam, make it like that. and then we can just do beam layers location. There, there we go. Spawn. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Reload the wrong thing. Uh, test. No. This All right there. We go. So now just spawn beam. Um, oh, we didn't make it go forward yet. Uh, we should probably do that. Uh, so we're gonna have to put the waiting stuff, but yeah. So essentially, what this does is is um so so spawn location to location spacing block. So it's one right here in front of the location. So it just keeps going forward, and then here, wait one tick if modulo loop iteration three is zero. Now, what modulo is, it's essentially, it it takes this number and divided by this number, and then it gets the remainder, right? It gives us the remainder. And if the remainder is zero, it'll wait one tick. This essentially just um, waits one tick every three times we loop here. So, yeah. Yep, there you go. Very simple. All right, all right. And then we have the skull part, skull soul particles. Uh, this is essentially I can show you. You can see just uh, little like particles around it. I guess it, it adds some effect. Making good particles just a lot of spamming. <coughs> Holy. Yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of spam, so, so yeah, the more you do it, the more stuff that happens, the better it looks, I guess. It's kind of crazy. Set angle to loop iteration 3. So, angle, it's, I have explained in the last video for the circles, right? We have the circles, so I'll, I'm going to go by one by one. Uh, you can see here. Spherical vector with the radius, remember the radius variable right here, plus 7, and yaw, 
Yav spawn location. This is to make it so the circle kind of they're facing where the player is facing. And then we should have to add 90 or remove 90, I'm pretty sure. I think yeah, we should remove 90. It's going to look good. Then the pitch, just the angle, the actual angle that you want. And then we go in game. Uh, yeah, you can see one of, one of the um, circular, circular things spawn. And then we just have to essentially do that again. Keep, keep We're going to have to um, do this. And then just add 180 to the angle. There we go. You can see that. Very cool. Now I've now there are four here because ninety, two hundred seventy, whatever. It just depends on what you how you would like it to look. I'm just wanting it to look like this. What is my camera doing right now? I wonder. There we go. Very cool, right? Then we have the little thing that's complementing the other circle. There's circle, circular stuff that are just complementing it. Set angle to loop iteration times four. But yeah, the angle. So we just make up the angle. Now, if the angle is above 360 degrees, um, script will just, uh, or pretty much any other calculation of that matter, uh, it, sine and cosine will just uh, bring it back to where it's supposed to be. So if it's like, th say, 370, it will just minus it by 360. So you should get 10. So yeah, if we just go back, you can see this is how it looks so far. And that is pretty much it. Now, now we have this. This is for the snowflake stuff. Um, the particles that essentially like... Sh Let me show you. Remember the moving particles we talked about? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very cool. Um, so this is what we do. So a right vector, two vector from spawn location to location three blocks right of spawn location. Huh? Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you create the vector, and then you do it for all other sides, and then this is what you do. It's really not that complicated. And then now we have is this variable ever used? No, I don't know why this is here. And then we have this. Now, this is like some old method I used to do that Benji showed me. Um, but I personally don't like doing it. For the Android particles, you can see it's just this. Yeah, you can you can just do this. 50 plus vector. Or the other way around, I guess. And it's just like this. It's just confusing. <laughs> it's too confusing. Um, it's just not necessary, you know. I have asked Benji, oh, what is this deal? He just said, oh, I don't know. <laughs> he legit told me he doesn't know. I don't think it matters anyway, so. Expand V or something. Whatever you want to name it, right? Actually, make this bigger. Uh, radius. It's better if you just make it spawn, like, really small for, at first. And then, yeah, that's, that's what you do. Um, make sure if you're, uh, if you want to do the, um, you know, the wavy stuff, blue wavy particles, right? If you want to do that, um, consider watching the first episode, or not episode, <laughs> uh, first part, because, yeah, that essentially explains it. So now if it hits something, um, um, that's not really supposed to happen, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I guess we also have to rotate, actually we have to rotate this, yeah, that's why. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. Now you can rotate both vectors if you really want to, but yeah. Now what you can also do, you can do V dot multiply. Now this is if you have script reflect, which I don't have on this server. Um, if you do have script reflect, you can just do multiply one and it will work but i don't have script reflect so this is not really going to work um 
So I've I've looked at script hub um, documentation. I haven't really found anything. Um, I guess script just doesn't have any syntax for that. Um, we can see if there is any. Multiply. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't have it. It should. A length, I guess? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Um, quite weird. I don't know why. It doesn't have it. I don't know why Script just does not have it. Script, um, I feel like that should be. Maybe somehow. But it isn't. I guess it could be the length that it is. We can, we can actually test it out right now. This is, this is what's great about particles. We can just like play around with it, you know? <laughs> and then we can just... Yep, there we go. Uh, length of can't be set to anything. Oh, vector length. Yeah, that's different. Um. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess it does work. Uh, might actually might not. It looks weird. It looks a little too weird. Um. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, I guess I was wrong. It does that does work. Very cool, right? That's what experimentation does, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Now we can you can simply increase this if you want to. You can increase the extra, which is the speed, if you really want to. Um yeah. Very cool, right? And you should make sure, make sure this is 0 0.1, make sure, because that's why it was looking weird. There we go. It looks like a basketball now. Very cool. So, yeah. Now, let's just say we did not do that. Let's see how it looks. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can see it's very, very, very small. You know? Very, very small basketball. <laughs> and then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Play around with this a lot. Uh, make your own unique particles. Do not just copy my code 24-7. Because you're not going to end up anywhere. With making good particles. Because you don't. it's not a matter of just uh, stealing someone else's code. You know? Very weird. Very, inspira I can't speak. Very inspira inspirational quotes. <laughs> I did not add damage to it. No. Well, you could if you want to. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Go crazy with this. Uh, make crazy beams. And yeah. Uh, it's a bunch of spamming particles. Just remember that. It's this, That's all about particles. Just, just spam a, a lot. A lot of particles, yeah. It's a bunch of spam. Now, a little extra I'm going to throw in there. Let me open up my GitHub profile, actually. For this... There we go. So, I have a library, and inside the library, um, now for this you need um, SK query, SKB, and script reflect, right? And you need paper for MS based things. Now, <laughs> listen to me. Um, I have custom syntax in, on this. So we're using MS here, code from PoSK. Now it's it's a <laughs> PoSK. It's a script add-on. It's well maintained, but if you're a commission developer, you don't you don't you want to like depend on add-ons less because I don't know customers might be a little more confused with stuff. I don't know. So you have a set vision function now. You can use this if you want to. We have I've, I've just made this uh, effect. So just say change player as a vision to say Enderman, right? And then if you change it to Enderman, it will work, right? You need to open up the. Revealing file explorer. There you go. I 
need to get script reflect and SK query. I just need script reflect actually. I don't need anything else. We can just get just search up script reflect. Alright, this is what you do. Alright, you Google something if you need help, you know. Very cool, right? The 2.10, we have 2.9.5 actually, so. Yeah. Another thing you guys need to know if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like don't don't update script unless you need some new features or something. Cause some some random stuff are going to break. You're gonna have to update the add-ons and whatnot. And some add-ons you're using might not even be updated at all. So I recommend you don't. And why is my microphone being focused instead of me? Uh, yeah, I forgot to even add my library. Very cool. We can just uh, actually I have it lying around in my desktop, but whatever. That one's uh, actually no. I'm not gonna do all of that. Very lazy game. Okay, come on. There we go. And we can just we can just copy this and kaboom, we're done. That's all we gotta do. And then make sure inside uh, inside the you change this the plugin name. Just change this. That's all you gotta do. And now in here you can you can do some crazy stuff. You can change layers. Actually no, no. actually no, this is the wrong thing. Ah <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, I have to close this. Inside here you can just say change layers not layers. Uh, P's vision to Angular. I don't know why I went extremely zesty for a second. I don't know why. Hell no, bro. Okay. Uh, we can ignore those errors because we don't have SK query right now. So if we try it now, spawn beam. Very cool. Um, yeah, if you F5, it goes back to normal. Very cool stuff. Binge me, Benji kind of like told me about it. Uh, I don't have his exact method that he uses. I don't know. I don't. He uses some different method. I don't know. Because it's a little different, so you know when you like use it, it like pauses for a second. That's like it make you respawn. I guess using some other types of other type of shader, but you know I'm not gonna get into that. It's no one cares about a little pause. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can use this for events. Um, I'm gonna explain how this works though. All right, you guys gotta know. All right, a little extra. I'm gonna throw in there. Set of vision. So what this does, it creates the entity, NMS entity. So we're just imported, importing all of this, right? Enderman, creeper, cave spider, spider, whatever it is, right? We're importing it. No NMS, use for NMS parts, whatever it is. Right, um. It's here. Just uh, makes you spectate it. Makes you spectate it. And then we're going to refresh the player. Right, refresh player. Now what this does... It just send it just redoes all it just resends all the information right it makes you sends a respawn packet right and it teleports you back and it does a bunch of stuff like a lot of stuff so yeah that's pretty much it uh yeah loop entities if it's all mob sanity link packet whatever it is right um cooldown is empty right, it just does the cooldowns here. Uh, on update abilities, whatever it is, in 1.21.5, made the server field pri private. It's some extra, extra stuff. Made the server field. It should not affect us here, as said here, whatever it is. So you can see. So yeah, very cool. Now this requires 1.20.6 or higher. Or if you're using an older version, you have to download the Mojang Mappings uh, uh, version of paper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you wanna, well, if you wanna have more of a multi-version experience, just get PoSK. PoSK does all this NMS stuff. Make sure it's multi-compatible. So yeah, very cool. Very very cool, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is a twenty-minute video. You guys gotta like and subscribe. Come on, come on. This is my first take. All right. <laughs>